Hello everyone, um, this is your girl Sugary Girl Candy again bringing you guys some new gaming news. Now, you know, since E3, um, gaming news has been dropping like crazy. Like, there's just so many like um, things that I have to edit that I just haven't had time to do anything else. Um, my uh, YouTube and my YouTube. Um, feed is just literally filled with E3, 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 everything. So I literally have to scan through my whole um, timeline just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So I'm going to try to get to everything. Um, so bear with me because I just really want to get all this stuff up because this is still the week of E3. So anyway, you guys read the title and yeah, I found this to be extremely crazy. Um, just from the title alone, I just was randomly just um, cruising and I came across this uh, story and I'm like, what? So I definitely had to give my input on it, on the situation and uh, yeah. So I'm going to read a little bit and then I'm going to let you guys know what I think. And um, yeah, so Xbox or We Riot is the result of Sony getting marketing rights for Call of Duty. Okay. After today's announcement that Sony now has the exclusive rights to Call of Duty, which is something I dislike, the Xbox COD community is literally up in arms protesting about this marketing decision. Okay, so this is basically the tweets and all that other stuff. Um, I mean the tweets, the hashtags. That's on Twitter right now, I guess. But I didn't personally see it uh, trending. Well, I know I definitely would have clicked on it unless I wasn't looking hard enough. But anyway, it says, after today's announcement that Sony now has the exclusive rights to Call of, to Call of Duty, COD, the Xbox COD community is literally up in arms protesting about this marketing decision. Xbox has had the exclusive rights for quite some time now, hence the reason that the entire competitive COD scene is focused around Xbox. Okay. Trending on all social media right now is the hashtag Xbox or We Riot. It's very clear. It's a very clear message. Gamers from all levels, whether it is amateur or MLG level, are not impressed. These gamers have sunk hundreds of dollars into ensuring they have the top of the line equipment to play COD on the Xbox competitive, competitively, knowing that this is the console that will always have the upper hand as far as DLC goes. Well, at least it used to be. Why did Microsoft Studios let it go? We can only imagine. Which is weird because, um, you know, while I was scanning through Microsoft's conference, and, you know, obviously, um, usually COD is something like, you know, they, talk, they start talking about at either the beginning or when it gets in the middle of their conference, and when no COD popped up, it was like, um, okay. And then, like, mine started wondering, like, oh, my gosh, my mind just immediately, immediately said, oh, my goodness, what if Sony, you know, snatched them up in some type of deal or something? I'm not a fan of Call of Duty, so when Sony did that portion um, of their, uh, in their E3 conference, I was pretty damn bored, and I just wanted them to stop talking about it. <laughs> so, Lord, um, this is crazy. Um... Why did Sony spend all their pocket money on a one month time DLC? We can only guess. What we do know is that the Xbox COD community is utterly unimpressed. Oh, did I mention that a petition has already been started? Wow, okay. Let me click on this. Just a couple of examples for you. These are some of the tweets, by the way, guys. So let me click on it. Okay, so you can see I'm off to finish what Bin Laden started except to the CEOs of PlayStation. Be right back. So time out. This is something that time out last generation, you know, stuff like this was something that was constantly rubbed in the faces of PS3 owners, you know, yeah, we got the COD DLC early, we got this early and blah blah blah, but when the tables are turned, now all of a sudden Sony are this evil corporation like when you think about it um Sony I mean Sony 
Microsoft for the reason this whole buying up exclusive DLC and time DLC bullshit even started and you can't say they didn't okay well the petition ain't loading for some reason I don't know maybe you guys took it down but they're basically the reason why this whole DLC time exclusive bullshit started to be honest to be quite honest so and it's become quite an annoying trend you know I don't really like clamor in um, a company getting third party games as exclusive because that's what second first and second party games are for and for any company to keep third party um, I'm pretty fit I'm saying I'm 50 50 on this because you know I don't like when companies you know take third party games and you know they put them on under their their company it's like Sony or Microsoft or whatever put it under them as a time exclusive then that means you know the other side is gonna you know miss out on the opportunity to get that but here's the thing um this sounds like a similar situation with the whole Bungie and Destiny DLC stuff well maybe I mean that one I kinda understand a little bit <laughs> due to the fact that that DLC was um a year's worth of DLC so <laughs> but it's similar in a sense that once again you know some of the Xbox fan fanboys, let me call them fanboys because you know fans don't usually you know overreact and do shit like this it's just fanboys. Fans would just be like, eh, whatever. <laughs> That's for Sony or Microsoft and Nintendo, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, again, um, like I was saying, um, you know, this was something that was constantly thrown in PlayStation users' face, you know, um, back, you know, back last generation, PS3 and the 360 generation. And now that the tables are have turned, now it's like, you know, Sony are, you know, it's like World War Three. Uh, Sony just are evil and da 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 And I'm like, okay, it's kind of pretty stupid and hypocritical to even, you know, try to call them all of that when first Microsoft started this whole fiasco of the whole time DLC bullshit and, you know, obtaining a COD and uh, you know all the DLC rights and marketing rights and blah 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 under them so I mean I mean I can't really fault them at that um I don't know maybe you know Treyarch seen the money or they seen the potential I mean yeah the potential in the sales you know I don't know but it's it's honestly a mystery why Microsoft didn't snatch them up like cause you know Microsoft be on them like that <laughs> So it's honestly a mystery on why Microsoft didn't snatch them up when they did. So, but again, I mean, I think this is pretty ridiculous. Look at all these tweets. We are not scared of change. We are scared of losing what we built and have grown to love. If I really hated Xbox, I wouldn't be retweeting your Xbox or we riot tweets. Get the shot trending worldwide. Why? I mean, <laughs> it seemed like the Xbox, like the Xbox side, make more of a big, you know, um, rush about things than any side do. I mean, besides the whole Tomb Raider fiasco. I mean, which we're still up, still upset about. I mean, but again, I mean, Tomb Raider is a whole entire game compared to some months worth of DLC. So honestly it's a month's worth of DLC I don't see why anybody will be tripping over that to be honest me personally I can give two shits because COD ain't my thing um, I pretty much was just like when Sony was showing it at their conference so I don't know for people to trip this freaking hard you uh, Xbox where we riot is pretty ridiculous for some damn month's worth of DLC like a month is a month is really gonna hurt you compared to us having to wait three or four months to get Tomb Raider in our hands. Um, yeah, something is a little bit wrong with this picture. I mean, just look at this. This is ridiculous, man. But um, wow. <laughs> so um, I think that's pretty much all I gotta say on it. Um, I guess you know it's a 50/50 situation for me. Um, again, this was like touted and thrown in, you know. Like, a lot of things were touted and thrown in Sony's face, and, you know, as a company, I mean, I ain't even gonna lie, you know, like I said before in, like, past videos, you know, Sony started started out pretty shitty when they first revealed the PS3, and it was just like a bomb, and it was like, who the fuck was gonna get two jobs to purchase one fucking console for $600? That was the 
baddest mistake they ever made. It was a stupid mistake and it was one that I wasn't going to, you know, pull into and I was not going to spend no fucking $600 or whatever to get no fucking console. Fuck that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is pretty ridiculous how, you know, I mean, you're going to riot over some months worth of DLC. Like, just think about that. It's just downloadable content. It's not like it's a full fucking game like Tomb Raider <laughs> where it's kept away from you. You're still getting the game. It's just some fucking DLC. We're not getting Tomb Raider, so, I mean, shit. It's kind of ridiculous, but, um, uh, Xbox Master Race, oh lord. But, um, <laughs> that's what I think about it. Um, things and times have defi definitely changed, and Sony have just been on the ball. <laughs> this has just been crazy, man. Real crazy, but, um. Let me know what you guys, well, fuck it. I'm going to leave the question, the question of the day at the end of the video. And you guys let me know what y'all personally think it is. Um, I just think this is pretty insane. <laughs> pretty crazy. And um, honestly, you know, if I was in that issue, you know, and I was a COD fan or whatever fan or whatever, I wouldn't honestly trip this hard over some DLC. I mean, especially if it's only a month's worth. It's not like, you know, a, you know, a bungee where, you know, there is um, a year's worth of DLC. This is just a month's worth. All you got to wait is a month and you're still going to get it. So, I don't know. That's just me. I'm 50-50. But, um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave the question of the day at the end of the video. You guys can answer it. Let me know. Drop, you know, your comments down below in the uh, comment box. Um, thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing, liking or disliking if you did. And I'll definitely be sure to get back to your comments as quickly as I can. And, uh... Deuces.